Hello boys and girls. My name is Hatsusti, also known as Yellowhane in some certain contexts. It's been a while since the last kayaking video and even longer with one of me commenting on it, which seems to be very sought after, at least that what YouTube tells me. With the current situation, I'm sitting at home instead of collecting new material in Greece for some more videos. So I thought I will use that time to go over some of the old stuff and tell you a bit more about it. There will be several videos, but in this first one I want to go into a bit more details about preparations and such. As a more or less native German-speaking peddler, there is one definitive guide for Greek rivers. Franz Bettinger's volumes of Greco with the second one also have some English sections. The best time for water levels seem to be late autumn till spring. Temperature-wise the spring is preferable. Then the water levels are largely dependent on snowfall during the winter, so you might check out the uh, various webcams of the uh, ski resorts. When kayaking in Greece, the logistical challenge lies in the fact that often the traveling time from put in to put out exceeds the time spent on the river. Therefore, it's a good idea to have some drivers to save you some time that's better spent on the water. While on the topic, there are some roads that do not compare to our middle European standards, especially when taking shortcuts. So vehicles that can cope with that duress are an advantage. I've been to Greece twice so far to do some paddling. The best way for us to get there is to take the ferry from the Italian Ancona just below Rimini to Greece with the first stop at Igominiza in the north. We always traveled back from there but stayed on for the second stop in Patras on the north of the Peloponnese. When there is not enough snow in Calavrita, the ski resort on Peloponnese, you want to consider debarking in Igumilica. As most of the territory for kayaking is off the well-trodden touristic paths, you do well with familiarizing yourself with the Greek alphabet to decipher the signposts and also to learn a few Greek words so you can get by. As you're not in touristic areas and are also outside of that season, finding lodging can be difficult. So we did some wild camping when no better alternative was available. 